Yo, 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 this your boy, I'm Breezy. Back at you again, man, with another video. Uh, let's hop right into it. Uh, NBA superstar John Morant has uh, got into some more trouble again. Uh, it appears to be he was in a video with some of his friends riding in a car, listening to rap music, and he was caught again yet waving a handgun. Now, I thought this guy had learned his lesson from a couple of months ago during the during game in, in Denver, Colorado. Uh, after the game, he went to a strip club and was uh, caught on Instagram waving a handgun. And it appears to be that he has did the same thing again. This time, he was riding in a car with some of his friends. Now, I don't know if this guy want to be in the NBA. I don't know if this guy want to have a career uh, playing basketball where he's earning a lot of money. But it seems like this guy is, uh, he's not too focused on his career. He too pretty much focused on rap music, trying to fit in with the friends. And we all know that Shannon Sharp, very critical of him a couple of months ago, uh, saying that the Memphis Grizzlies uh, think they're in the hood and they try to be, you know, thugs. And everybody, was real critical of Shannon Sharp when he made that statement, but it appears to me that he was right. Only good if the person that re is receiving it adheres to the advice. That's it, um, because I can see where this was heading. Ja was 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 wanting to be something that he shouldn't have wanted to be. As I've said before, Skip. Normally, people think about it, Skip. John Gotti never said that he was a gangster. No. Meyer Lansky never said they were gangsters. Mm -hmm. Gangsters never tell you what they are. They they do everything they can to per per uh, uh, perpetrate something that they're not. They're not what they, you know, we know what they were, but they wanted to be outstanding gentlemen. Skip, they had uh, 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 businesses. They were just great in the community because they didn't want to portray that image. Why would someone where 200 have a $231 million contract that kicks in next year, a signature shoe, a power aid, national ad, why would you want to be per, per, uh, 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 perpetuate that you're a gangster, that you're a thug? And you can't argue with the facts because the guy's he's still doing the same old things. And he losing, uh, he already lost an endorsement, I think with the power aid commercial. Now, now this incident right here, because you know Nike stayed on with him, but I think this time Nike is going to be gone. He's going to lose some more major deals. And right now, the Grizzlies put out a statement on saying that he's suspended from all team activities. And, you know, and right now the NBA playoffs still going on. So I wonder how next year is going to, what's going to happen next year. This guy might be suspended for. A year next year or uh, even half of a year because the NBA has got to step in now and they got to do something about this guy because he's spiraling, spiraling out of control and he's messing up his life man the guy is losing all kind he's gonna lose all kind of money behind this image he's portraying as a thug you know waving handguns you know you, you got you got too much money man to be hanging uh with these friends now, now you can't blame this on the friend because as soon as the guy seen Ja uh, waved the gun. He got he kind of put the camera down. So I think that some of these decisions are being made by Ja himself. So uh, you, know, you got to watch who you hang around because if that was me uh, and I was an NBA star, you couldn't have no camera phones around me. Put the phones down, no phones because those phones will get you in trouble. And it proved too many times that 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 camera phone has caused a lot of people their careers. And this guy. John Morant career is in jeopardy. Jeopardy. So, you know, we, he all went to Florida that, that time. So, he did some rehab, got some therapy. It was only last about a week. Then he was back into the league again, right before the playoffs. So, and we all know that Dylan Brooks uh, made a comment about LeBron James too old, and, you know, this, that, and the third, which is only basketball talk. And everybody, like, you know, putting the blame on Dylan Brooks. But it seems that now Dylan Brooks was, is not the only problem um, in Memphis. Now this this uh, the owner of the team, the general manager, somebody need to get uh, involved in this 
and hire somebody to, to uh because it seems like they might police these guys because it's 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 getting out of control in, uh, in Memphis. And we know Memphis is you know you know they, they're known for their rap music. Like you got a lot of rappers that come out of Memphis, so it can't it kind of be like uh you can make bad decisions if you don't be careful. Tell me, rant man, you need to watch out, man. You need to watch out because he, he's gonna wreck his career. Uh, uh, make a stupid decision by listening to, listen to these rap songs. You need to stop listening to these guys and these rap songs because ninety percent of the time these guys are lying about what they're rapping about. It's got the younger younger generation. They listen to it and they believe in it and they try to go out and mimic the same thing that these guys doing. So man, you got you got to be careful, man. When you're uh, in a multi billion dollar business, and uh, you know, uh, Carmelo said a while back that the FBI are watching you. The NBA has the feds watching you every, your every move. Now, how do you think that, that, that they got a hold of this video from Instagram so fast? Because they're watching y'all and they're watching y'all friends. They're watching. And these guys need to learn, man. But hey, it's going to be too late before they find out. Let's just hope John Morant get the help he need, man. Let's just hope John Morant get the help he need. His father and mother need to step in because it's, it's, spiraling, it's spiraling out of control. But like I say, man, I just hope he get help he need before his career is over with for real, and they'll kick him out the league uh, because the guy has a bright future. He's a, he's a great player. He's very talented, and I don't I don't want to see all that diminished, man, by making stupid decisions. So let's just hope he get the help, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about John Morant. Is his career in jeopardy? And uh, someone's trying to step in and you know try to lead this guy in the right direction. Uh, it's your boy Breezer, man. Until the next time, I'm out.